fellas, after the last game, Frank was talking about kind of the lack of leadership of this team. Has he, that been a message that's been uh, kind of addressed to you guys over the past few days? Yeah, it's been something Frank has addressed. Uh, I feel like we I made our corrections uh, after the Stetson game where uh, took what there was to take from the Stetson game and we're getting ready for Florida. Yeah, I agree on what Mike said. I feel like practice these days, we've been going real hard, trying to work on things we need to work on and preparing for the next game. AJ, what have conversations with Frank been like these last few days? He was kind of, he said he didn't play you just because you weren't playing that well against Stetson, but just what have you guys talked about um, kind of leading into this Florida game? Uh, we're just talking about moving on to the next game, playing, playing how I should play, playing to the best of my abilities and not holding back and giving like maximum effort. Did you, Frank talked about how, I think it was on, last time he talked about this was Thursday at that point. He hadn't addressed you guys yet since the Stetson game, and he was going to do it at practice that afternoon. Did you guys meet separately at all to just kind of talk about, you know, moving on and, and what you guys can correct from, from that performance? Uh, uh, Frank, yeah, Frank, uh, obviously, like, uh, in practice and everything, like, sometimes comes up to you, like, individually and says that you need to uh, be better in some in some aspects or do something differently. Um, but the message to the team as a whole was pretty much the same. We got to be more mature. We got to just be better, be ready, ready for the game. You know, now with the start of conference play, is this kind of a chance to sort of like press the reset button? You know, maybe uh, obviously, you know, you guys have been through an SEC slate before, and you know, <coughs> and you can kind of make a push uh, with, with a good conference record. Oh uh, yeah, I feel like the start of uh, conference plays is a, is a big opportunity. We can come out here and play to the best of our abilities and come out strong, and that'll just set the tone for the rest of the uh, conference play. Yeah, uh, going off of what AJ said, I feel like uh, every game is a reset button. Every game is a new game, uh, so we gotta prepare for every game like it's our first and last game. Mike, you kind of know Kerry Blackshear a little bit from those scrimmages you guys did in the preseason with Virginia Tech. What's his game like? What do you remember about going up against him then? And what's kind of the key to slowing him down? Uh, I remember him being a good player. Uh, we never did any like proper scout on them just because it was a scrimmage game. So we just went at them. Um, but you know, just got to stay sol solid on defense. Got to do everything I can just to stop him. AJ, uh, the team's been kind of up and down this year, but if you look around the country or around the conference, everybody's been kind of up and down, and there's no real dominant team in college basketball. How much confidence does that give you guys going into this 18-game stretch? Uh, I guess that gives, gives, gives us a lot of confidence because we know other teams are in the same situation with ups and downs, so we just got to stay to ourselves, stay within the, our concepts and listen to coach, and we'll be fine. Mike, you you know what this series has been like with Florida the past the past four or three years, and now going on four years for you. What do you, what do you remember about all these past matchups with the Gators, and and obviously what game sticks out the most to you? Literally every game is a fight till the last minute. Even if one team's down by ten or not, no one stops fighting until the final buzzer sounds. Uh, uh, I feel like it's in its own sort kind of a rivalry between us and Florida dating back to, or for me at least, 2016-2017 season, the Final Four season, where we went 1-1 uh, and one during the regular season, if I'm not mistaken, and then after a tough match, get, got to the Final Four beating them. And so I feel like it's a rivalry, and I'm really ready to go against them. This is for both of you, and this is a kind of a follow-up to David's question about the up and down nature of college basketball this year. But how frustrating is it for you guys, especially after the two uh, nice road wins over Clemson and Virginia, and, and it looked like, um, okay, we had a bead on what type of team this was going to be, one that could go in and take care of any team in college basketball, at least be competitive. And then after the bad loss to Stetson, it's like you're, uh, Frank said, a, a Jekyll and Hyde team. So just how frustrating is it that you go into conference play and you still haven't really locked in on your identity? Obviously, it's frustrating. Uh, but at the same time, 
Uh, as I said before, every game is a new game. We made our corrections from stats, and we can't get, we can't be down about the loss. Uh, we have to just tackle Florida now. So, yeah, like Mike said, it's, it's frustrating, but we're working every day to get better. And with our team, I feel confident that we'll the next game that we'll just always move forward. On the same lines of what John asked about the Florida series, um, what you know, you play Florida Open SEC play now two straight years. What did that win and the way it happened last year down there uh, do to, to to spark your season? And what do you recall most about you know, the final play, Chris, the comeback, the the whole thing, and and uh, you know, playing them again? Is that a reminder that you know this can this can spark something else again? Uh, last year that was my first SEC game, at, SEC conference game, and. Getting that win was like was big for us because I just felt more confident. Just starting the conference play right, and I feel like it just boosted our like self-esteem a little bit. And we started playing well when we were on the run. Yeah, like I just said, it was a real confidence booster. I feel like it showed that we can we can battle against everyone in the SEC, and I feel like it helped us a lot. Obviously, the leadership talk's been big, but in, Frank's talked about how you know he felt how Chris kind of took ownership of it after time. He learned how to do it in the last couple of years and kind of helped you guys through some rough patches. Was there a moment when Chris really stood out to you guys um, as the, as that leader, and, and uh, where do you guys kind of look for that now this year in in, in different forms? Uh, I feel like the one thing that Chris stood out in was uh, demanding aggression from everyone, demanding that energy from everyone, every practice, and that that was more of him showing it by example and leading by example. Uh, of course, every now and then he would say, like, yo, pick it up or something like that, but mostly it would be by example of him just being really energetic and uh, and everyone just following uh, following him just because of how he was. <laughs> well, compared to Chris, I feel like I'm a bit more, uh, or more of a quiet person, like just by a character. But I try to help everyone in practice as much as possible. Try to make sure that everyone's on the same page and that everyone uh, knows what they're doing in practice. Thank you.